The final part of this stage is about reframing the patient's complaints. In other words, trying to help them see them from a slightly different perspective. The first thing to do is to summarise all the symptoms, the, the physical, the social problems and the psychological symptoms. And then, tentatively, suggest links to any life events that the patient might have told you about. Can I just go back through with you? You've told me about the back pain. You've told me it's been going on for three months and it started mm. when you were at work and you lifted something. Yes. But actually before that you've been under a lot of pressure at work too. Yeah. You've told me that um, in a typical day you're not sleeping well and you're waking up very early. Mm -hmm. And that as you're about to go into it, your pain seems to be getting worse, as they're kind of anticipating the, the stress that you're going to feel because work's understaffed and you're overworked at the moment with it. Yeah. And as the day goes on, um, you were saying your back pain gets worse. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder whether there's a link between the pain that you're feeling, mm -hmm. the pressure that you're under at work, Mm. and that making you feel down, as you've been telling me. I, was, mm, I suppose there, there could be a link, yeah. Yeah, because the more wound up I am, the tenser I get and it makes it ache more. Mm. And it's getting me down. And, that, that's, that, getting and me that's, down. that's adding to you feeling down, so yes. you feel down. When you're explaining your ideas to the patient, it's important to try and be tentative. Use phrases like, I wonder if, like the doctor does here. This gives the patient the opportunity to come back and have a discussion with you about it, so that it, it doesn't feel like you are dictating down to someone exactly what you believe their problems to be about.